More than 50 years ago, Little Rock Second Firehouse was born. It sits right in MacArthur Park, the capital's oldest city park. Now, instead of the traditional fire station with the trucks and the PPE, it has now been turned into a historical site where you and the whole family can book a stay. Ashley King is sharing this newly modern piece of history in this week's Discover Arkansas. This building was Little Rock's second firehouse built in 1917 and it's on the National Registry of Historic Places and now known as Little Rock Firehouse Hostel and Museum. You can stay here, so let's go check it out. Discover Arkansas, check it in. It's a place where people can stay that's safe, clean, affordable. I had been looking for about five or six years. That would be the perfect building, pointing to this beautiful 1917 craftsman style firehouse. So one thing led to another, and we have a contract with the city of Little Rock to use this building for 50 years. Our job is, was to raise the money. We raised a half a million dollars to renovate it and to run the firefighter museum and the hostel. And the firefighter museum came up because I just thought, well, this is a firehouse. We need some really neat stuff in here. And I went to the fire chief and he was almost in tears because he said, we've been looking for years for a place to put all these artifacts. And then he said, but you, who you need to talk to is Johnny Reap. And it's Captain Johnny Reap, the Little Rock Fire Department. He's a legend. We just adore him, and I met with him. He's been on our board from, from day one. We have a five-phase plan, a master plan. Phase one was to complete the renovation and open the Firefighter Museum and the Backpacker Hostel. We did that in 2016. And, and now we're ready for phase two, which is to build an engine bay. See this, this big old 5,000 square foot building isn't big enough for the kind of museum we really need to have. And we're going to build an engine bay to house a 1937 American La France um, fire engine. As you can see, these tables are actually doors that have been in this building since 1917, but they used to hang upstairs as the entrance into the dorms. Okay. So she's showing us that the fire trucks used to be parked right here, but then the fire trucks got too big for this, but the bay doors were right here. James, hey, he right. is the uh, general manager. So the original fire boxes were like this. They'd pull the bell and then they would sound the alarm that was in the old church bell tower downtown. So they and this. they would crank it and it'll, it'll, this will hammer down and you can hear it across the, the city. So come and discover the Little Rock Firehouse Hostel and Museum and go discover Arkansas. I have always wanted to go by there. Really? I've never been by. I've always thought it was fascinating that the firehouse outgrew its facility and the actual current firehouse is actually just like right next door. Oh, that so is it's cool. It's actually pretty neat. I that did not know that. Yeah, it's yeah. real neat. And it's very uh, General Douglas MacArthur, mm -hmm. famous mm -hmm. war general, World War One and two, uh, spent some time there. I think he was born there. Actually. Wow. Yeah. There's history so much history. Minor. history. Look at this yeah. guy. Scott is like the guy to go to if Arkansas you want to know all only, sorts though. of Arkansas history only facts. History. Yeah. But that's all that's all we needed here. Nothing it's else just matters. Arkansas history from you, Scott. There you go. Pretty cool place. Go now check you gotta it out. go. I wanna go. Can I go now? <laughs> no, you gotta stay here a little bit longer. Okay, Sorry. Fine. Yeah.